Before I wrap tonight's show, I want to tell you a story that I came across this morning. It is a story of India's railway staff, of how they saved the lives of over 800 passengers. The story begins on Sunday night. A Chennai-bound train had left Tamil Nadu's Tiruchendu railway station at 8.30 p.m. local time. There were 800 passengers on board. They had just settled down for their overnight journey. Chennai was over 14 hours away. It was a rainy night. Some 34 kilometers from Tiruchendur, in Srivaikuntam, it began raining heavily. There was a cloudburst. The train was fast approaching Srivaikuntam. It had crossed Kayal Patinam, Aru Muganeri, Kurumbur, Nazareth. Srivai Kuntam was just seven kilometers away. The railway engineers at the station had no idea what the rain had done to the tracks. So when the train reached the Srivai Kuntam station, the staff decided to stop the train and not let it go any further. This call saved nearly a thousand lives. Because not too far from the station, the rain had eroded 12 kilometers of the track. It had all been washed away. It was a disaster waiting to happen, one that the Indian railway staff had averted. But the worst was not over. Back at the station, there was confusion, restlessness. The passengers wanted to know why their train had not been allowed to go any further. There were babies on board. There were elderly men and women. The railway staff was flooded with questions. They decided to move the passengers to a nearby relief camp. But just as they had successfully shifted 300 passengers, it began raining all the more heavily. The water level increased and the escape route was cut off. The rescue mission had to be stopped. Those who were still in the train had no way out. They had no option but to spend the night inside the train. The railway staff remained at the station with the passengers. The station's electricity was cut off to avert any disaster. The station was cut off from the rest of the world. There was waterlogging on all four sides. And there was no way to get any food to the passengers. The night turned into morning and the morning to night. No help came. Two trucks reportedly tried to get to the station but they failed. The railway staff and the passengers had no access to food. There was no water. It was only later on Tuesday that water began receding from the station. Railway personnel could finally enter the station and bring help, much needed help to those stranded. It was a little over 8.30 in the morning. Railway staff waded through flood water and began distributing food packets. Passengers could hear a chopper overhead. The Indian Air Force, too, had come to the rescue. The chopper was dropping food packets. Their ordeal had finally come to an end. More importantly, they were safe. No one knows what would have happened had the train been allowed to leave the Srivai Kumtam station. Why am I telling you this story tonight? So that we recognize the work that India's railway staff puts in. We recognize their commitment to their work. Because we don't do this very often. Every time there is a derailment and an accident, a railway disaster, we point the finger at the railways. We scrutinize the staff. Fair. But on days like these, we must also applaud their dedication and, of course, their decision-making, which in this case has saved lives. We on World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.